Previously on Outside Watch, we sail 800 miles from the Seychelles to the French island of Mayotte. Mayotte, we're there, well almost. I think it's one of the coolest feelings in the world, arriving in a foreign place where you've never been and seeing it appear on the horizon uh, after many days at sea. It's a really very rewarding uh, experience. They're so close to us. This is such a nice welcome to my aunt. Yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, something big just jumped up the water back there. Maybe more than open. Eight hundred miles. Eight hundred miles. Let's get this engine off. Yes. We're in Mayotte. Uh, we just got approval from the port authority to go on shore and do the check-in process. So we have to go get a COVID antigen test. And once that comes back negative, we go to the airport and we go see customs and immigration. And they stamp some papers and then we'll be officially checked in. And we'll be free to move about Mayotte. But yeah. Uh, it's so cool to be back anchored next to our friends, Saga Rani. We became pretty good friends with them in uh, Maldives and now they're right next to us again. It's really cool. So we haven't seen them in probably six months. So we're gonna have a big party tonight. Lots of tea punch. checked in so we can move about the country now so we're gonna leave uh, the yacht club Anchorage and go circle around the island around Mayotte we're gonna go with our friends Sagarani over there and Marat I think it's better to travel here in uh, groups rather than being all alone uh, just because of the security threats here uh, the check-in was pretty easy actually. All we had to do is get one form from the yacht club, fill it out, and then take it to the airport, get a customs and immigration stamp, and then email that to the harbor master. And that, that's it. That's all done now. And it's a beautiful day for sailing. Truly great friends only come into your life every once in a while. This was one of those times. This is Claire and Joe. I'm Joe from uh, Not Sugar Runnies, Sugar, Sugar Runny, and uh, with Claire. 
They have been sailing their 52-foot ferrous cement boat, Saga Rani, around the world for the last three years. Hey, we are in Mayotte. Marant? Marant. Ah, who am I? Yes. I am Marant. Morant. Mourant. Mourant, like uh, American style, Marant in French. And this is Seb. He's sailing with his wife, Laura, and two kids, Paul and Elia, on board their catamaran, Morant. This was only the beginning of what would be a crazy few months to come. This amazing group of people would ultimately have a huge impact on our lives as we sailed in tandem down the Mozambique Channel together. seven knots but there's this freaking crazy illusion in the water it looks like we're moving in slow motion I don't know if the water's like going the same direction as us but it's this glass and calm man you can see it as well through the camera I look at the shore carefully when you look, you look at the back of the boat you can see, clearly see that we're moving at 5.7 knots when you, look to the, when you look to the side, yeah, it looks like we're angered or something. It's freaking weird. I've never experienced this before. Wow. Yeah, oh yeah, see there's a leaf in the water and the leaf is going back. So you can clearly see it, but... Oh, strange. Yeah, very. It's the biggest dolphin I've ever seen. They're massive. Whoa. Look at the whale. It's huge. It's like the size of... The days in Mayotte were melting away, cruising from one deserted beach to the next, having one beach barbecue after another. Barbecues have been a theme of our trip. Yes. Our anchor's stuck on a rock. And we're gonna probably have to get in the water and go see what's going on soon. So if the if we drop facing that way. Yes. And there's a rock there. The problem is we've swung so many times. It was calm yesterday morning. Yeah. So we're just drifting around. Maybe if we let more chain out again and drive the boat that way. Yes, okay. I think. Let's try that. Or let some chain out. Okay. And then reattach a little bit of snubber again, okay? Okay. Well, this, <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> but our friends on Sagarani are, they're good free divers, so they might be able to go check it out without getting the dive gear. So we'll see what happens. Exactly what I was f***ing worried about. Well, at least we're starting early in the morning. It's only 8.52. So we'll get it up soon. Without fucking our windlass, hopefully. Thank you for coming to help. Are you sick? 
Yes. Properly stuck. Cool. It's 15 meters from the top Fif of the surface. So. 15 right there, yeah. Rims right here, yeah. And the, it's around the 30 meter mark where it gets stuck and won't come up anymore. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's oh. not that much chain. Okay, so it's just 15 meters. Yeah. yeah. How deep can you guys dive? <laughs> 22. Uh, it was for for Maran to uh, Maldives. Oh, did they also get stuck? Yeah, with the the anchor. Oh, really? get the tree. We need to learn to free dive. This would be a good skill to have. Can you see it? Is it like wrapped around? Okay, Chris, I, move it I forward. I follow the chain. Okay, she's diving down now. Okay. Were you able to pull up the chain a little bit? Oh, I didn't yet, so... Are you able to? Now it's stuck. Okay. So Joe's gonna come and drive the boat. You're drive the bus? Yeah. And okay. And then Claire's gonna be in the water with you and then you can relay messages like let out more chain and she'll tell me. More chain? More chain? Yeah. Chain up? Yeah, chain down, chain up. Yes. Um boat forward. Yes. Okay, more forward a bit. I think he's okay. I think he's taking the rest of the chain now. Oh, he's getting it. I think he's done, yes. We're clear. Okay. It was like in a fing hole. Yeah. And I had to like move. I don't know, it looked like it was like going through the rock. Yeah, it's free now. Yeah, it was like wrapped underneath it, but once you guys let the chain out, it, I mean, could free it like immediately. Oh, really? So yeah. that was the key. Good. Nice. Thank you so Thank much, you Claire. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Well done, Chris. Oh, thanks, guys. See you, Chris. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See you. <laughs> Joe and I are going to sail away on Skylark. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. The anchor is up. We're off to go see some lemurs, finally. And you can see the chain coming down from the boat. It was through there, mm -hmm. and then it went up. This is all sand, Okay. and the anchor was over there somewhere. Grab here on the chain when you loosened it, mm -hmm. and then push it out from underneath there, and then it was just all laying on the sand. Although Maya is a beautiful place, we could only stay two weeks here. The seasons were changing and the weather dictated that we needed to sail south. Ultimately, we were bound for Richards Bay, South Africa. Although this passage is only 1200 nautical miles, it is rare that boats can make it in one go. This is because of huge low pressure systems coming up from South Africa, creating strong southerly winds up the Mozambique Channel. We would have to make multiple stops during these lows and wait for the northeast winds to return and propel us south. Our first stop, a very remote bay on the coast of Madagascar, Maramba Bay. We are going to leave Mayotte today. We are heading towards Madagascar this morning. Um, it's only about a day and a half. So we'll see our friends tomorrow for a weather stop in Madagascar before we get a good window to go to um, Richards Bay. Let's see. What we're sailing with. I'm right, I'm getting ready. I'm gonna go wake Chris up now, and then we'll have coffee, we'll get the anchor up, and we will leave. Are you excited? Yeah, we're going to Madagascar. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty excited. Easy one day passage. Hopefully, don't jinx us. A day and a half. Well, just coming out through the pass. And there's no swell, or very little. It's like 
I think we're in for a very, very nice sail on some very nice flat water. And we've got decent wind right now. I've got 14 knots of apparent, and it's going to be just ahead of the beam. So it's right where Skylark likes it. Should be going pretty fast. It's going to be a good sail. I think to Madagascar. I don't think we've ever had a bird fly into our boat before. It came in twice. One time he went in the cabin and then flew back out again pretty quickly. And then he came back in the cockpit and he was going to go in again, but now he's moved to the railing. And now he's just chilling there. Hey, birdie. We're on our boat. I know, he's inside again. Open that overhead hatch underneath the main. Birdie! Bird! Oh, f fuck, he's in the bathroom! You open the hatch? Hey, Birdie, you're still with us. He's gonna come with us to Cape Town. Yeah, probably. Just stay out here, don't fly inside again. You're good, right there. Oh fuck, he's going in, he's back in the cockpit! Ah! Oh shit! No, go, go, go! <laughs> Crazy bird. Do not leave us alone. Morning of day two. Very slow. This speed's good because we don't want to arrive at night in Tamarumba Bay since we've never been there. And if we just keep doing three, three and a half, it's going to put us there about 24 hours from now. So sunrise tomorrow. So we'll go to sea. Anything else to report? Hoisting up the Jenniker. He's getting the halyard ready. Going to Madagascar, buddy. Good morning. It's about, uh, it's about 4 a.m. We're uh, about 15 miles out from uh, Madagascar. Land ho! Madagascar! Approaching the entrance to Maramba Bay. Um, it looks a little shallow in spots, but mostly it shouldn't be anything less than four or five meters deep. And then we're going to come back behind uh, these little islands and anchor. Check out this one. Welcome to Madagascar. Next time on Outside Watch, we explore one of our favorite countries in the world and experience all the magic that Madagascar has to offer.
Est-ce que vous faites ces sacs dans le village Oui. Ouais, vous faites Ouais Maybe you could, I wonder if we can get one made. It like, looks very strong. Est-ce que pour nous c'est possible d'aller visiter le village plus tard Oui. Ouais. Oh, on peut. Le village.